I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm the head coach for Job Search Coaching HQ.com. And um, I've got a book I'm going to be reviewing here by Jeff Hyman called Recruit Rockstars. Um, I was a guest on Jeff's show and had the pleasure of, uh, of doing a show with him. And he does a terrific job. And without going into his background, I'll simply say he's well equipped to write this book. Now, the chapter headings are Know What You Need, Determine Your Company's DNA, Creating a Job Invitation, Tap Into the Best Sources, Interview to Predict Success, Take Candidates on a Test Drive, Use References the Right Way, The Offer They Can't Refuse, Get the First 30 Days Right, and Give Rock Stars What They Crave. He does a great job of delivering on his promise with this title because he is really focused on how to hire the best and you making the commitment to hire exceptional people, not just average Joe or Jane. I've got a quibble, um, you know, the chapter about um, determining your company's DNA. I think that's hard for most organizations unless you're very small. You may take a team of individuals and spend time um, looking at the talent there and who your best people are and still not know how to interview for them. For them. And that's really my one quibble with the book. Determining your company's DNA goes into that category of fit. Uh, that is so hard for organizations to really do because in terms of fit, they don't really take time to do personality assessments at the time of the hire because people's personalities change and evolve. That's a good thing, but we work off of subjective evaluations in order to make that assessment. And then when someone comes in on the interview, they're on good behavior, you're on good behavior. The interactions are based upon an act that everyone sets up for themselves. And to me, that's the place where most hires break down. After all, statistically, somewhere between 50 and 60% of new hires, uh, the hiring manager has buyer's remorse um, within a year of the hire. It tells me that they don't know how to interview. The other place uh, and, and this one's a tiny quibble. He's got some concrete suggestions uh, for giving rock stars what they crave. Um, my biggest thing about rock stars, uh, as he calls them, is that we tend to treat job applicants that we want to hire like girlfriends and boyfriends during the dating process. And after they're on board, we take them for granted like wives and husbands. And I'm obviously dealing in a stereotype here. The idea is to always make something exciting for people, which is hard to do because we get caught up in our own tasks, just like we do in our marriages and our relationships. But if you can spend some time trying to make the rock star feel important, to let them always know how much you care about them and what they do. I think that serves them a lot better than some of the things that Jeff cites. Those are, are fine. And certainly organizations have done that. And that's symbolic of showing that you care. But I think the real emotional connection with a lot of folks is really what they crave and never really receive. So great book. I really mean that. Great book. It's a definite, you should get this. And on YouTube and a couple of other places, I'll have links to to where you can order it on Amazon. It is a terrific read uh, if you're involved with hiring, if you're involved with staffing. It's going to give you ideas of how to do things differently in order to be more effective. Instead of doing this stale, repetitive, nonsensical things that have not worked for you up until this point. This will increase your odds beyond simply the 50% minimum of all new hires fail for you. Let's improve the odds. So again, it's called Recruit Rock Stars by Jeff Hyman. Get yourself a copy. I think it's a terrific book. Now, if you're interested in my coaching you with hiring, I'd love to do that. You can contact me through you know, Jeff Alpin at TheBigGameHunter.us. Let's schedule some time to speak. I'd love to work with you. Hope you have a great day. Take care.